Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Today we have a little bit of a science puzzle for you and it has to do with air. Here it is. I have a balloon inside this bottle and that balloon is filled with water. How did I get the balloon into this bottle? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with air. So I know what you're thinking. Well, balloons filled with water are flexible. I can squish them. I can squeeze them. I probably just squeeze the balloon into the bottle. Let's see how that works. I have a balloon about the same size as the other one. Bottle, same size opening. I'm going to try and push it in. Getting somewhere here. That didn't work too well, did it? So we've cleaned up after our little water explosion. That clearly did not work. What happened is our balloon, I don't think you can see it, maybe a little bit, the balloon actually ripped as I was trying to push it into the bottle. That is not the answer we're looking for here. The answer to this puzzle involves air, and to get to this answer, we need to explore air. And our exploration begins with a balloon and a bottle. Let's take a closer look and see what we can find out. So we start with a balloon and a plastic bottle. Any plastic bottle will do as long as it doesn't have any holes in it besides the opening. And all I need to do is squish the balloon together and stuff it down into the bottle. And stretch the balloon's opening over the top of the opening to the bottle. I have it all set up. Now let's get ready to explore air. Well, where is the air? I have air all around me, pushing down on me, and I also have air inside this bottle. I can't see it because air is invisible. Now, air may be invisible, but through science we've discovered that air is matter and air takes up space. So air inside this bottle is matter and it takes up space. So what will happen if I try and blow this balloon up? It's not too difficult. I can blow up a balloon. I didn't really have any problems doing that. Well, what will happen when I try and blow up this balloon and add more air to our bottle? What do you think? Let's find out. I'm not faking. I'm actually trying to blow air into this balloon and it's not working. Why? because the air inside this bottle is taking up all that space. It doesn't let me blow that balloon up. So I know air inside this bottle takes up space, but now I want to use a different bottle and try it again. But there's one thing different about this bottle, and it's not the size or shape. There's something else that's different. We want to see if you can find out. So I'm going to take the balloon off of this bottle, the same balloon, move the bottle off. Now I have a bigger container. I'm going to stuff the balloon into the bottle and I'm going to stretch the balloon's opening over the opening of the bottle. There's one thing different about this bottle. Watch what happens when I try and blow this balloon up. Why was I able to blow this balloon up? Well. There's air inside the bottle. That air is taking up space. Why was I able to add more air to this bottle? What do you think? If you listen carefully, there's a clue. I'm going to do this two more times. Listen. It sounded like air was moving. Air actually was moving. Well, how is that air able to move? Well, if you look carefully down here, there's a hole in the bottle. I'll show you with this little stick. The stick actually can go through the hole. Well, what did that hole allow the air inside this bottle to do? It allowed the air, as I blew into the balloon, that balloon forced the air and pushed the air out of the bottle. Watch this. I have the empty plastic bottle. I line my hole up with a bottle. I'm going to blow in. The air rushed out of this bottle and moved that plastic bottle off the table. There was no air trapped inside the bottle. The air could escape out.
So now let's explore air a little bit more. We're going to do the same thing, but change one little thing. Same bottle, same balloon, hole in the bottle. I'm going to blow the balloon up, but put my finger over the hole and watch what happens. Once I put my finger over the hole, the balloon actually stays blown up. Look at the top. You can see there's, a, there's an opening in the balloon, but the air isn't coming out. Watch this. I can drop my stick down. It's open, but the air is not coming out. Well, why is that happening? So what's really happening here is that I have my finger over the hole. What happened with that hole? Well, that hole allowed air to move in and out. When I put my finger over the hole, air can't rush back into the bottle and push the air in the balloon out into this room. What happens when I take my finger off of the hole? Air should be able to move in and push the air out of the balloon. Let's see science in action. It worked, and I could even hear the air moving. Another way to do this is to use this hole to take the air out of this bottle and let the air in this room blow that balloon up. I'm going to inhale lots of little times. It's gonna look like I'm kissing the bottle, I'm not. I'm going like this. I'm taking all the air out of the bottle. Watch what happens to the balloon. Here we go. had to take all the air out of that bottle and the balloon looked like it was magically blowing up. It wasn't magic at all. It was air doing all the work. So we are close to figuring out the answer to our puzzle, thinking back to the water balloon in the bottle. Well, all I need to do is the same thing we just did, but add some water from this pitcher. Here we go. Find the hole. Now, what do you think the next step is? I have an open balloon. I have a pitcher of water. All I have to do is pour water from the pitcher into the balloon and then tie it off. Let's do this. You can hear the water running into the balloon. Okay, now at this point you want to be very careful because what would happen if I take my finger off of the balloon? Air would rush into this bottle and force not just air out of this balloon but also the water that's inside. So I'm going to stick my finger in, grab it, I'm safe to release, tie off my balloon, and now I have a balloon in a bottle. Why? Because air. Through science, we've discovered that air is matter and it takes up space. And we can do a lot of fun things with air. If you want to learn more about air, check out our links in the video description. Science is so cool, sometimes it's a little bit wet. Thanks for watching.